One of the reasons that I called you was I know you were raised crushing rock, yep. basically. Yep. So we found just here and there we'll find gold in what we crush, and it's in most of the rock, so. Well, you got some gold that came out of that crushed rock? We do have a little. As cowboys, we're not good at it, but we found some. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right, cowboy, show me the gold. <laughs> that pan right there, It'll have that real little stuff. You can kind of see all the, and that's what we mostly find. Whoa, all right. <clears throat> you got some gold there. Wow, look at that, Chris. Yeah, yeah. Pretty good. How so, much material was ran so, to get that? I don't know, we don't know what we're doing. We found pickers that you could actually pick up. Dang, so if we got that in one pan, that's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty impressive. Our goal is to find a piece of ground that we can continuously mine. What we're finding is that in the lower 48, there's not much ground left where you can sustain season after season. Do you own the ground? Is it? It's all deeded. It's, it's all deeded, and, uh, and it's all the mineral rights are procured. So. And you have mining permits. All oh yeah. This place seems to have some gold. It's got water. It has everything. You know, it's real accessible to us and. Uh, if there's enough gold, we'll mine here. It's a good start. It's got everything. We got a mining permits, we got water, we got creek, we got gold. Right now, I'm pretty excited. We don't see a lot of historical workings here. There were no big dredges coming through or anything like that, so we could be standing on virgin ground. It's got some really good indicators. Uh, I'd love to see $35 a yard. That'd be great. If Dave can find $35 of gold per yard, the 1,400-acre claim could yield $200 million. He has only three days to prospect the massive quarry with the imminent start of the mining season upon him. The guys need a place to mine. If I don't find a place to mine, they don't work. They don't have a job. So yeah, there is a lot of pressure. This should have some gold in it, Chris. If test results are good, the existing permit means he could begin mining immediately and capitalize on the high gold price. I'd love to find a lot of gold here and pack up, move everything back to Arizona. I love it here. Look at the way the water's washed over all these rocks, though. Yep. There's been some major monsoons in here. Well, we found out last year that means uh, depositing some gold. Look at what we did at, at Lynx Creek. Oh, yeah. When those monsoons came through, they were bringing gold down. This is a perfect spot. Right here. Where there's big rocks, there's typically big gold. You've got a canyon here, you got a canyon here. Think of the amount of gold that probably came right through this here. This is definitely a major intersection. We've mined Arizona two times, and we've learned a lot about flood gold. Flood gold is gold sitting near the surface that has been released by heavy rainfall or monsoons. The force of the rainfall moves sand, gravel, rocks, and even larger boulders, uncovering previously inaccessible gold beneath, and washing it down into canyons and flatter areas of land. This is a huge property. He said he's got like 13 or 1400 acres. But what you're really looking for is where the gold is going to be. The gold is at the lowest point, and that's in the valleys. Let's start here, get an excavator in here. It's actually pretty exciting. There's a lot of good indicators. Uh, huge rocks on each side. They have found gold in this rock. What they're crushing, there's gold in it. Rip it up. You ready? First prospect of the year, Chris. Let's hope we find some gold. Here we go, buddy. treasure hunt. That's what we're doing, and we're going to try to find it. If there's gold on the property, Chris and I are going to find it. That's deep, Chris, right oh, there. Oh, I know. Careful. There you go. There's Dave Pan. Well, I'm gonna go pan, pan this it. real quick. Okay. Let you know. There goes the first pan. 
Hopefully it's got some gold in it. I, I like it. There's good potential here. If there's any gold in this canyon, it should be right here. It takes time. We lucked out, got a big excavator, but Chris and I only have pans to do a bulk sample. It's not ideal, but the pans are an indicator. We have to maximize our time at each place that we're at. There's sometimes that we need to upgrade and get a little bit more efficient. And uh, pulling pans to do a major prospect for a major operation. That ain't gonna cut it. Nothing in here. We're just shot in the dark right there and you know, just testing it out. Gotta be a better way. Nothing in there at all? Nope. There's no gold in this, there's none in this valley. Because right, so it's not coming from that way. It's not coming from that way. So the next spot we'd go down where these two come together, maybe it's coming from that valley. Yep. No gold in that. That ain't gonna cut it. That's <laughs> not good. But you know, that's why we prospect. Let's go talk to Clay. There he is in there, Clay. Huh. The gold that you guys found, it was worth a try. Sure. But for me and Chris and my crew, I think we gotta move on. It's the way it works. We're just gonna keep crushing. First prospect, it's a bust. It's time to stop. I have found nothing that resembles anything that's worth mining here. We're searching for our future. And each day that goes by that we don't have a future, it starts getting a little bit more nerve wracking. And that's like, you know, we don't have time. There's such competition. If I don't find the ground soon, there may be no more ground left. We've got to find the ground and we got to find it quick. And so I need something where I can get in, get out, and get the job done. If I'm going to fail, do it quickly. Otherwise, I'm just wasting my time. I have to find a better way to prospect.